Hey gang, Craig Ripley here. Welcome once again to Living Out the Slab. Now today what we're going to do is a long-term review of these boots. This is the Terra Evo Low Boot from Forma. But before we get started, I got to remind you, if you like what we're doing here, please subscribe and make sure you click that bell so you get notified when new videos come up. Also, if you want to help support the channel even more, I have memberships available out on my website at livingoffthe-slab.com. We're going to be doing a series of Zoom meetings over the course of this winter, and we're going to start talking about video editing, shooting video, uh, editing video on the road, all kinds of things about doing video. So if you want to get involved with that discussion, please sign up for the Travelers Club membership out on my website. All right, guys, let's get back to these boots. And before we get into the Terra Evo boot, I want to remind you of how we got here. Why did I end up choosing these boots? Well, that is because a couple of years ago, I was out riding off-road, and I took a little spill, and I ended up fracturing my foot. And I did that partially because I was wearing these boots. This is the TCX uh, X Desert boot. And um, it's a nice boot. It's very comfortable, waterproof, looks really beefy. But when you get down to it, there's not a lot of support in here at all, right? For your foot or for your ankle. So as a result of that spill, I decided to upgrade my boots to this. And this is the Alpine Stars Tech 7 uh, Enduro boot with Dry Star, so it is waterproof. Because primarily what I'm doing is I'm traveling, right? So I want something that is going to be good in all kinds of weather conditions. So I did this to give myself a lot more protection. So that is where these Terra Evo boots from Forma come in. I was looking for something that was going to give myself a little bit more protection than a standard motorcycle shoe. I had had uh, some other TCX boots and I did a search for all kinds of things. I ordered them, I tried them on, and there wasn't a whole lot out there that really gave me the kind of protection that I needed. It was going to be walkable because again, I'm touring, I want to be able to get off the bike and walk around a little bit, and it was going to be waterproof. Well, eventually, after all that searching, I settled on these. Again, this is the Forma boot, the Terra Evo Low boot, and again, it has dry tech membrane in it. Normally, I'm a Gore-Tex guy. I've got a lot of stuff that has Gore-Tex in it, and I really like it. But in these boots, I've gone with uh, so the dry tech, and in the Alpine Stars, also, they have their own version, the Dry Star, they call it. And both of these have proven to be, again, very good at keeping the water out. Not always quite as breathable as Gore-Tex, but overall, again, it's been doing a really good job for me. So what ended up selling me on these boots is the level of protection that I have here. There's a lot more this plastic gusseting, both on the lateral side of the ankle and the medial side of the ankle, that just really gives a lot of support. It's really hard to bend this over. Uh, you saw what I could do with that standard adventure boot, but this one again gives me a ton more support. A lot better heel support, a lot better toe protection as well. So the protection on this is quite a notch up not quite as good as those Tech 7s, but again, that's an off-road boot, a motocross style boot. And this one kind of lands in between those motocross boots and an adventure boot. Now, along with protection, I of course wanted a boot that was going to be comfortable. And now that I have about 20,000 miles on these boots, I can tell you they have been very comfortable for me. They have a really nice stiff sole in there, so riding long days does not fatigue my feet. Standing up in the saddle also does not fatigue my feet. These boots have been great as far as comfort goes. Along with riding comfort, I also wanted it to be a walkable boot. Right? Because as we're touring, as we're traveling, we're constantly getting off the bike, walking around towns, maybe taking a little hike to go see something, and I didn't want to have to change shoes all of the time. 
So on my last trip, when we headed out to California, we got off the bike and actually did some hikes in particular out in the Petrified Forest National Park, and these boots did great. Like I said, I wouldn't want to go for, you know, a five-mile hike, but walking for half a mile, a mile, around a town, these boots have been great. Again, very comfortable, very easy to walk in. Now, over the course of the 20,000 miles that I've had these boots, the buckles on them have also worked great. Pretty easy to operate, flip them open, flip them to close. They've been very secure. Again, worked very well. So another thing that seems to be working very well are the soles of these shoes. Uh, they don't slip. I've had no problem with that. Grip very well. And they seem to be wearing well. I probably have several more riding seasons before I'm going to have to replace them, which is another nice feature about this boot. They have sewn on soles, so you can actually send them in again and have those soles replaced. Now let me point out one thing that you do need to be wary of if you decide to get these boots. And that is that the toe box is very large, very high, and it's very stiff. All right, so you're going to have to adjust your shift lever and possibly learn to shift a little bit differently. I know I did. So what I did was actually learn to shift more with the side of my toe. Uh, they have a nice little shelf right here where the sole ties in to the boot. And I'm able to just grab my shift lever with that and pop it up very easily. So that's what I ended up doing. As far as caring for and cleaning these boots, to be honest, I've done nothing so far. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. Right, but the folks at uh, Forma said that this is the stuff to use. This is Nick Wax, this is a foaming cleaner, and then, of course, a waterproof conditioner. So I'm going to take a little time and clean these up before the next riding season so I can put another 20,000 miles on them. Again, very, very happy with these boots. It was a great purchase. If you want to know where you can get them, well, I'll have a link in the description of this video, as well as I will add them out to the gear pages on my website. Ride safe, my friends.